people ask me, are you who I think it is? This is why I don't ever agree. Because first of all, I don't, I'm don't. i not saying yes to some type of imagination, whatever creature you done created in your head. I don't know what you're talking about. You could be talking about, you did that wrong about me. Or you could be talking about, and I'm just like, yeah, it me. Hell no. Nah. I'm like, I don't know who you think I am. She said, you Travis Scott, ain't you? I said, no. She said, oh, you uh, you on Wild Night? I said, well, well, you're getting close. What's your name? My name DC. I knew it was you. No, you didn't. You thought I was guy. I'm Travis Scott. Now, what if I would've said yes? You gonna ask me about the Kardashian? I don't fucking know. See, people. Just be smart, y'all. Well, you got to give it to DC Young Fly for being a good sport about uh, the woman that he ran into mistaking him for Travis Scott. Because be clear, if you know anything about Travis Scott or if you know anything about DC Young Fly, there is no world that you get these two dudes mistaken other than they are both entertainers, other than you probably think they're both very rich. They're both skinny black dudes that's got a little hair on their head. So that tells me right then and there, you really don't know who the heck DC Young Fly or Travis Scott is. You just didn't want to waste that moment if you saw yourself in front of a celebrity or somebody you deemed to be famous in the limelight or whatever that stuff me may be. Your boy Pharaoh's got mistaken for a couple people over the years. You know, not too many people know me, and I'm good with that. I'm that's not what I'm chasing. But I've had a, a couple people say I, I, I mimic Lil Scrappy. I was like, okay, I'll take that on the chin. I did flick it up with Lil Scrappy years ago. I, I see where y'all were going with that. Okay. The one that bothers me because it's stupid is the DJ academics stuff, which in no world do I look like academics. If you ever have a conversation with me, I don't sound like academics. You just look at me and think news and you think news when you think him, he's the biggest in the music news space and you just associate people. I don't like that because academics do stuff. He got a stigma with him that I would never want on my shoulders. Y'all don't hear me disrespecting people. No disrespect him. You know, look, I do him. That's his thing. Y'all know I don't do that. So the academics one actually bothers me. That, But again, hey, every so often people walk up to me and say they know me. I can only imagine what it's to be a DC Young Fly or Travis Scott. Speaking of DC, though, I got a little gripe with DC Young Fly. Y'all let me know if y'all think your boy Pharaoh's just hating or not. I've been at a few Atlanta Hawk games of late. And one of the guys that I've seen a couple times over has been DC Young Fly. Uh, I'm usually a few rows back from him. I saw uh, DC at the Laker game, and then he turned around and was at the Clipper game. It appears as though at the Clipper game, he was the guy that got the Russell Westbrook jer jersey right off the back of Brody. And if, if for those who are not familiar, that's a super big deal to get the jersey. A lot of these celebrities are taking that jersey and hanging them up around their houses. It's, it's dope to have, right? So I think I'm kind of hating here, but I think it's a little nasty how DC Young Fly and Boosie's another one. They've been going crazy with these jerseys. They have taken advantage of a market. They're making the Hawks a soup and popping place to watch basketball games, which is great. But these dudes are racking up jersey every single game. Luka Doncic, Russell Westbrook, James Hart. All I see is these dudes yearning for these damn jerseys. I don't just think it's an accident that all these damn basketball players keep giving these dudes jersey. Everybody ain't able, so don't mind me if I'm hating a little bit on you, DC Young Fly. I'm pissed at you dudes are designing y'all houses with these game-worn jerseys, damn it. I Luca damn near gave Boosie a damn jersey where he scored 70-some odd points off his back the other day. He didn't give it to him. He signed one for him. It's like, damn, the, the damn NBA season is being told from these players with the Atlanta Hawks. I don't like that. I'm not even going to lie to you guys one bit. Y'all let me know. Am I just hating or not? Time, love, and support is with your boy. We'll never take for granted. DC Young Fly says, uh, if you're going to walk up to this man in question, you look like somebody I know, don't you? Like, come on, come with a better question. That's one of the dumbest questions I got. I don't know what you think. You, you, I don't know what you're thinking in your mind. Uh, Y'all let me know. Top love and support is with your boy. We'll never take for granted. Salute. Uh, I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs? when I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, 
I am culture. I am Pharaoh.